Shoma Uno, last to skate, the reigning world silver medalist representing Japan, 19 years old, in second after the short program, looking for another podium finish after winning Skate Canada three weeks ago. Any spot on the podium in Grenoble will guarantee him a ticket to the Grand Prix final. down on his quad flip in the short program and you know that there's a lot of pressure as you just said he needs to make it on the podium for that grand prix final so that will be on his mind this entire free skate a lot of pressure he'll open here with a quad loop well, that's a good way to start It's like a top, beautiful triple axel. This is by being one of the easier passes in the program, one of his least efficient jumps, the triple lutz. Spins like a top in his spins as well. He always receives a good grade of execution on those elements. free skate. He has three quad attempts in the second half, which gives you that 10% bonus. But you're also executing these jumps on tired legs, making it that much harder. Very strange mistake there on the quad flip. Never really committed to being over the right side of his body. Landed dead center in the middle. Definitely under rotation, so he'll be marked for that. Again, the same problem. You can tell he's rushing these takeoffs. You have to really sit in and live in that takeoff. If you start to skip through those steps, it doesn't get you into the air correctly. After watching the Purity and Misha G's long program, and now watching Javi and Shoma both struggle through these very loaded free programs. Where are we? I don't know, Johnny. I don't know what I want. <laughs> and you wonder what happens to his head, too, because after coming in second to Yuzuru Hanyu at Worlds in Helsinki, he said, I feel like I can challenge for the top of the podium in Pyeongchang. But you wonder now, with Yuzu out injured, he will not be at the Grand Prix final. But uh, what, what happens to his head at this point? Well, from experience, I do think we're seeing some of these skaters make these mistakes because they're getting it out of the way. You train all year to peak at a certain moment. So sometimes it's good. You still have the Grand Prix final, you still have your nationals, and then it's time to shine. So maybe they're getting all the, the nerves out now.
to wonder what Nathan Chen is thinking as he gets ready for his second Grand Prix next week at Skate America, won his first. He's thinking he may be the top leader going into Korea. Extremely disappointing performance, so many mistakes. There was beautiful Shoma Uno, classic skating with abandon. There were some nice moments, but it almost looks like he got everything started to pile up like traffic. He just couldn't get over one mistake before he was already making the next mistake. Well, he said after the short program that he felt like he was focused too much on the jumps and he wanted to focus more on his performance, but it seemed like they both suffered today. This was Shoma's opening quad loop. Beautiful technique, nice air position, good landing. But here on the flip, you can see he rushed through that takeoff, didn't let himself get all the way in the air. And again, here on the toe loop, almost a jagged entrance into that quad toe. Well, so many points on just under rotations. <laughs> Well, kind of shocking that that is the best free skate score in Grenoble, but way below what he scored earlier in the season. In fact, about 35 points lower than what he scored earlier. This wasn't a great event. No, it certainly wasn't. And looking towards the Grand Prix final, the men are going to have to do better. And so Shoma stays in second place.